Hello friends, family, and the rest. It is I, Fallen Fury, and welcome back to my Let's Play Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we, uh, started the Let's Play, and, um, basically got our storyline and so it's, like, worked out and everything. We're gonna see the awesome great fairy that's supposed to help us, and, you know, what? <laughs> what are those things? Please tell me it's alright. Oh no, the great fairy! Wait, what, what's wrong? Can I talk to any of these? Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked skull kid. Please find the one straight fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. Oh, cool. They easily heal me even if I had anything lost, even though... Eh, oh well. Okay, so now I have to find a um, certain stray fairy. Um, it's not that hard to find. I'll give you the locations here in a second. Um, yeah, so here we have Clock Town. There's multiple variations of Clock Town. Can I talk to him? What's this? Green clothes, white fairy? Sir, could you have a chance to be a forest fairy? Oh my. My name is Tingle. I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, I am already age 35 and no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age. But why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Oh, he speaks in third person. Wonderful. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky. I'm so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know. You should, we should be friends. Yes, yes. In exchange, I will sell you a map for as cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Sure will. I'll play Clock Town. Yippee! And we get the map of Clock Town. You don't act, you don't like the maps don't come out of map, you have to buy them from Tingle, which is lame, but whatever. It's not that bad really. And um same as maps map what is it called? I don't know, the map design in uh Ocarina of Time. Well call again. Tingle Tingle Lulumpa and those words are like make sure you know those words. This is my magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. So yeah, now we have a map of Clock Town. Um, you see there's north, south, east, and west. Um, the four directions of Clock Town, obviously. First thing we want to do is uh, go to the laundry pool, which is in the bottom left corner. The only one that doesn't have a direction. I mean, why would it? It's just, you know, it doesn't really need one. It's in the bottom left. I mean, you can make it south, west Clock Town, but that's lame. We don't want that. You just want laundry pool. Anyways, there's the stray fairy. We want it. Give me. Please hear my plea. The mask kid has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. Coincidentally, I got the same plea from your other sisters or whatever. Oops. Hello. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'll buy it. Alright. That's, That's not important now. That's a side quest later on. Mind you, this game is all about the side quests, so, uh. Get ready for that. If you like side quests, you'll love this game. If you like time limits, you'll love this game. If you like masks, you'll love this game. There's a lot of things you love this game about. I love it. I love it for everything. It's my favorite Zelda game of all time, and I think it always will be. You know, Skyward Sword might, you know, take the cake, I guess, but it has to really impress me to beat this game. Anyways, go back to the Great Fairy Fountain, and hopefully they'll, you know, actually fix themselves. Whatever. As I'm hoping for. Oh good, it looks like they're going to. That's a relief. Oh god, Vine Whore! Get away from me, you pointy boobed person! Oh, I hate these things. Tattle, you, I knew you, young one of an altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought a masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. And unlike Ocarina of Time, we get our uh, magic bar extremely early in this game. You know, like the first thing we get, <laughs> other than, you know, becoming a DQ, which really isn't a thing yet. But yeah, we got our magic bar already, which is awesome. Yay, I'm the king of the world! We get magic! You've been granted magic power. In your current form, press B to shoot bubbles and press B to blow a big bubble. Release B to shoot. Your magic power decreases when you shoot. Release you, punish with magic bars and potions. The men who live in the observatory outside of town may know the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate the child's powers, kind young one. If ever you are returned to a former shape, please come see me. I shall give you more help. Sounds good, Great Fairy. Alright, now we have magic power, we can do more stuff in this quest, um, well not really a quest, it's more like, it, well, it's kind of a quest, I guess. The first thing we want to do is, uh, is that big bubble that kid's trying to pop? Let's pop it for him, be a nice guy. You're off. 
It's like, oh my god, not like here, what did happen? Are you the one who just pop up that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. You better myself a hideout that leads to the observatory outside of town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting in that easily. I just can't tell you what the code is. You have to pass my tests first. Are you ready? Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, line up, guys. Oh, great. Where do they come from? If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? And there's a new guy, you know, epic failing, you know, general stuff. Okay, first thing you want to do is go to this guy. If you dash into him pretty, if you dash into him like before they see you, you'll uh, you'll get him pretty easily because then a Deku scrub can, like, it's like a roll but faster. There's one behind here, trying to be secret. You're, uh, that's the red one, by the way. You can see the leader. There's two in North Clocktown, two in East Clocktown, and one in West Clocktown. There's not any in South Clocktown. I'm not sure exactly why. Oh yeah, we get to see East Clock Town. This is the place where you're spending most of your time, because, like the game, like the, um, like the games and stuff are here. So, and this is where you'll be spending most of your time in Clock Town. That in North Clock Town, you see, you're spending a lot of your time. Get him, get him. Okay, good. Oh, he caught me. There's like two left. All right, I'm kicking ass. I think that he runs off if you're. Wait, what? Well, to get that one, you have to uh, get in this DQ flower. And wait, what? Oh, he blew off. Wait, did he? Oh, yeah, he did. And they'll be mean sometimes and do this. Just get close. Yeah, I see the one next to you. There's only one left. Easy peasy. You see, these guys are easy to catch. But they can be really, really, really annoying. Don't underestimate them, because if they get caught like behind a guard or something going outside of town, since you're a DQ scrub, you can't go outside of town, so you have to uh, you have to leave the area and come back, because they won't go out of the guard. I mean, you might be you might get lucky and do it, but uh, most of the time you will uh, have to restart the area. And there's the last one. Easy enough. Dash into him. Oh, oh, okay, good. <laughs> oh no way! You finally got me. That was easy. Really easy, actually. You're pretty good for a Deku scrub. If only you were human, then I could give you an original Bomber's Notebook to make you a member. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs. Oh come on. I guess not. Once we let someone a kid, once we let someone a kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, do we ever regret it. Sorry, but I'll teach you the code just as like a promise. I can only tell you once, though, so pay attention. Are you ready? Okay, one, two. Okay, three, four, one, five, two. I think it's been my code before. Of course, 34152. The entrance to the hideout is in East Clock Town. Sounds good. Alright, so now we've done that, we can go do that. I'm actually doing this really fast, faster than I've ever done before, <laughs> which is kind of awesome. Okay, you said West Clock Town? Or East Clock Town? Yeah. Right, let's go. And there was a bomber that we did miss. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll get into more of the stuff. Um, what goes on here uh, later on? When I, you know, all right. If you want to pass through here, you have to say a secret code. Okay, three, four, one, five, five, two. Um, that's right. If you know the code, you remember, right? Okay, here you go. And he lets you go like a nice person. There's a lot of cool stuff that they tell guys to help buy this place. And yeah, um, the Bomber Secret Society is just as forever. Um, he's like the bomber that like no one likes. I'm guessing like. And eh, we're not gonna let you play it in our reindeer games. Go guard the hideout or something, even though no one really cares about it. <sighs> I feel bad for that bomber, you know. Emo bombers for life, I guess. <laughs> um. Okay. Do -do -do. Hey, look, it's a Majora bubble. Majora balloon thingy. Doink. Not hard. <laughs> Why balloons break with. Snot bubbles, I have no idea. That's kind of gross, by the way, actually. You blow snot bubbles. Why it costs magic, I have no idea. What's that allowed to say? I wonder how the astronomer knows this skull kid. Whoa, look at the time. We don't even have three days left. Oh, please. I'm almost done with everything I need to do for this cycle <laughs> already. Okay. Doop -doop. What's up, guy? Well, well, a strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the bomber gang? Hmm, your, ma your manners seem much better than those of the mischievous friends from the other day. <laughs> <laughs> that ill mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he stole my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, I just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. We get us a telescope? Alright, whatever. Sounds good, old geezer. Here's a telescope. You don't really use it much. Just zoom in on the 
clock tower. You don't gotta be exact, you know. Because you can only zoom in once, I'm pretty sure, which is kinda lame. What? what? Oh, hello, moon at his face. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Shooting meteors down. Oh. Wait, what? How can, I, how can a telescope do that? Don't shake your ass at me. Ugh. You are a despicable skull kid. Anyway, it's like I really do. Well, did you find that troublemaker and that loud noise? What was that? Perhaps another moon sphere has probably fallen. Go, go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way to go through there is the clock door, and that opens only on the eve of the carnival. God, there's a lot of things happening in three days, you know. Like, the mask salesman leaving. I think someone mentioned that thing falling, which is not good. By the way, what, why does it have emotions? That's not even cool. And we get the moon's tear. Its sparkling beauty radiates rather strangely. It, that indeed it does. That it does. And, you know, we have to walk back to the clock town, so... Let's get to that, I guess. Um... Let me see. I was going to make an update kind of thing, but I don't really have to. <laughs> um... Oh, yeah, actually. We are having a, um... Marathon again. Um... For those of you who don't know... Um... I'm gonna make an update video probably to either today or tomorrow. By the time this goes up, it'll probably be tomorrow. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys know what's going on and all that. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. <laughs> and I've already almost done it. It's only the freaking night of the first day. This is ridiculous. I've never done it this fast before. Actually, I have to kind of hurry. Da -da -da -da. Alright, here it's first off let's get our thingy out. So oops, no doggy! Doggy of death! Ah. Wait, wait, hang on. Oh great, what's he gotta say? Hello. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Um, okay. Sorry, I didn't know. I've already sold out of my wares, and, even, and the carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shops so I can buy my gift for my wife and return to her in my village. I found that the stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you the spot here. Tiki flower included. What a coincidence! Ah, the stone, you must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. Tiki flower included, yes? Sounds like a plan. You've traded over the moon's tear for the land title deed. You really helped me out, and now I have my perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set on eyes on a jewel or strange the she hasn't set eyes on a jewel or strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot would be in high demand among Deku Scrub, but you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. Or use it as toilet paper, lol 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 lol. <laughs> no, but really. <laughs> Alright, now that he's taken off. I think he had two bags, now he has three bags of the moons here, which is a little tastic. Anyways, um let's go up here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, crap, 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 go, 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 go. Yes, got it. We got the heart piece of heart, collect four pieces to assemble a new heart container, much like Ocarina of Time. It's basically the same thing. The door to the clock tower opens only once a year at midnight, at the eve of the carnival. So I've basically done everything I could possibly do in this, well not, not everything I could possibly do, but everything when it comes to doing the storyline, because this is where you have to go right here. So I'm going to call the video in here guys, and the next part I will um, do some heart piece collecting. So I'll see you guys next time, bye everyone.